things that I love to do. I love to explore the city and go to all the fun places. And one of them that I recently went to was the Jacksonville Zoo. And they have a brand new show that I got to participate in. And it's all about using rescued animals. So let's take a look and see how I do as a trainer. The Jacksonville Zoo is one of my favorite places to go, especially with my family, and they always have something for everybody. And now there's a brand new show, Camp Ground Critters, and it has a great message. Here to tell us all about it is Amit. Amit, thanks for having us here. Well, thanks for coming. We love spreading the message, first of all, of adoption. That's the whole purpose of this show. Uh, it features dogs, cats, birds, pigs from all over the country and all over the world, honestly. And all the domestic animals are all rescued. And that's our number one message in the show is if you're going to go get a pet for your home, check a local shelter and animal facility first. So there's a great message behind the show, but also the viewers, they get a chance really to be entertained. So what are some of the performances that you could see? Well, we have several different segments we have an opening segment which is extremely fun it features about 30 different animals all running on stage doing different things including lovey smith here he's a moluccan cockatoo he's our mailman he actually delivers a letter during that segment um, we have also a math bird segment with a bird that actually can do math. We ask the audience members for any math problem and the bird solves the problem. It's you have a very funny. talented crew here. We do. <laughs> and, the, and the cool part is, is all of our birds are free flighted birds. So the birds fly right over the audience's heads. We also have our dogs and cats who love to jump and play and do a lot of fun behaviors as well. We're going to get you involved in that a little bit later too. And you say these are all rescued animals. Where are they rescued from? They're all rescued from local shelters and rescue facilities from all over the country. A lot of these guys came from the Orlando area, Orange County, Seminole County, Polk County, um, but some of them have come from all over the country. You know, a lot of people get birds like these as pets and think that they're great pets, but that's not the case at all. These guys can be extremely loud, temperamental, and destructive. They can also live to be 60 to 100 years old at times, which is why so many beautiful birds like this end up in shelters all over the country. And we get them in from anywhere. We'll adopt them from anyone, yeah. And you were saying too, the animals actually put on a performance. Well, how do you get them to act and perform on stage and on cue? Well, we use all positive reinforcement training methods, which is another great message that we uh, perform in the show, which is basically a reward-based system. So if an animal does something correctly, they get a reward. If they do something incorrectly or choose not to perform, it's totally their choice. We just ignore that behavior. We only promote and encourage positive behavior. And we use all kinds of rewards, petting them, uh, food treats, toys if they if they enjoy them, anything that they really like, we can use as reward. And that's what I do with my kids at home, and it kind of works. And sometimes, like you said, they just choose not to do it. <laughs> exactly. And that makes for even a better show than the when, they, <laughs> when it goes right. I agree. Well, why don't we meet some of these animals? It sounds great. Like, this is a new trick. Okay, ready? Weave! <laughs> Nailing it! Weave! Not that easy, huh? No, weave! And you're giving well, a treat for it, too. And... It's this one. There you go. Ready? Go. You got one. Got one. Ready? Now come back. Come back. Come back. Good. You're nailing it. Ready? Okay, ready and... Scooter. Well, Amit, thank you for your time. We made a lot of friends in the process, and we learned a lot about animals. But right now, it's time to head back to the studio. All right. Thanks for coming. Everybody come see our show. <laughs> All right. That was, that was that a lot of fun. So great. Yeah, yeah. You are the dogs are talented. <laughs> you are not a trainer. No, not at all. But you tried. I give you props for that. Yeah. And I love how you're holding the bird like arms like, like please, please. 
I enjoy animals, <laughs> but I have like a respect with animals. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's, um, yeah. So. Well, we had this conversation recently where we were like, Mark's probably the least comfortable in that situation, which is yeah. why we ask you all the time, would you please go to the zoo? Yeah, I noticed this, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know if you it's noticed fun. too, when I was uh, trying to do that weave, the dog like jumped up and like, hit me like right in the groin. <laughs> and I had little paw prints all over my shorts, but it was a lot of fun. It's a great show. Too. Yeah. 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 So if you want to learn more about it, you can go to our website, rivercitylivetv.com.